player, I am loading the equipment overview. Hey guys, it's TK1138, and I'm here today with a short little gear review. Now I know I say short gear review a lot, and then it turns out to be 30 minutes. I promise this is not the case. In fact, I got this product back in March, and I never did a gear review about it because I didn't really think much about it. But I recently got into a discussion in the Chicago area Nerve Club regarding this piece of equipment, and I realized I had a lot more to say about it than I thought. So here we are with a review. So today we are covering the One Tigra 6 inch foldable face mask. Now this is like a, an airsoft face mask, I really like this one for nerf. Now usually I don't nerf in a face mask, um, I, don't, I don't think it sets the right image in a lot of ways, especially if you're playing in a public park or in a public area, wearing a face mask makes people think airsoft paintball and then the cops come, it does happen. But that said, when we do play like our 14 plus games at the Southeast Nerf Club where we have up to 250 FPS or in Atomic Dart League where we also play 250 FPS, a face mask helps because catching a worker dart traveling at 230 feet per second in the lip is a great way to get a split lip. Had one. So I started shopping around for face masks. Now I did kind of want to go with the whole tactical look, you know, that is my, my MO, but I wanted something that was not like a full face mask because I just I'm not a big fan of those um I used to wear them back in like my, my speedball days of paintball and uh, I mean they're not bad but I, I definitely prefer a two-piece mask especially if you're not doing paint which we're not this is a nerf channel not a paint channel so anyway um, this is the one Tigris it did come out to be about $16 There's some cheaper ones There's some more expensive ones there's a lot more expensive ones there's the full face helmets like um, Captain Xavier and Walcom reviewed. Those look really cool, but not really uh, practical for, for my play style. You know, with Atomic Dart League, it's really fast, lots of running. Um, so I wanted a mask that offered a lot of protection, but was breathable. And that's where this mask came in. Now, it is a metal mesh, and so it is hard. Uh, you can sit here and shoot it all day long with even a, a pellet gun, and you'll leave little dents in it. But you can shoot it with a paintball. Well, no, paintball will just it goes through and gets on your face. Not a good one for that. But a Nerf dart. A Nerf dart, this is fine. Uh, protects your nose, protects the bridge of your nose, protects your mouth. But because it's mesh, it's really nice and breathable and really doesn't affect your ability to talk. It does kind of give you this weird little ghost mouth thing. So anyway, um, it's been really nice. Uh, it's also got this really nice triple padded cheek rests. And it's uh, it's got that breathable material on the inside. And so it does offer some pretty good protection on the cheek. I know I've caught a couple of darts on this, and um, I haven't really had a, I had a problem with that. There are, um, it's, it's got one of those full back head strap pieces, I guess. Might as well put it on, yeah. Um, so it's a little weird of a fit at first. Like, it took me a little while to get used to it. Um, and then the problem is, because I wear, like, uh, this and a GoPro, so that's a lot of straps. Um, and it's it's a bit much at times. I don't feel like this is exactly the best fit, but it's it's pretty good. And for $16, I'm happy. But the other thing I like about this is it fits a lot of different sunglasses or glasses, safety glasses style. So these are my uh, my very worn two-year-old Project FDL safety glasses, and they fit fine. Um, yeah, and this is so if I'm running around outside, this is what I'm gonna be be wearing. I've got some really cool pictures over here from the flying chicken of me using this at the last SCNC 14 plus game, and uh, it was it's really nice. You know, it protected this beautiful face from catching any painful shots, um, other than the forehead. I did have one bounce like right here on my forehead. Did not help me there, but otherwise. This is good. Um, I've got these ones, these glasses, which I use for Atomic because it's indoor and I don't need the tinting and that stay on nice and tight. These are, uh, again, I guess another strap, but another pretty good fit. Most glass styles fit underneath or behind this bridge. Um, and even some like Chronicles of Riddick style goggles, which are the ones I use if I'm running around a lot outside and I want that tinted and that nice side coverage, whatever. I've got like eight pairs of these and they're pretty cool, but again, lots of different styles fit really well with this. I haven't had too much problem with it, like jumping up and down and it falling off. You can tighten it to your own comfort, um, but I didn't feel like that was necessary for this because I'm gonna be taking it on and off a lot and I'd rather not look like Jim Carrey from The Mask. So, um, as I did say, it does retail for $16. Really solid investment. Um, and if you're looking for a good face mask, I highly recommend it. That said, uh, some of the reviews that I've been reading um, I have mentioned that 
Uh, you will sometimes start to see some rusting on some of these on the inside of the mesh after a while because of breathing. I haven't had that problem yet, but that said, I've only had this since March. So I actually haven't worn this during like a winter game where condensation is going to be forming up on it. So we're going to have to wait and see. I might mention this. I might put a comment on this in a year or so. But for $16, I'm pretty happy. It's really comfortable and protects my face. Really good mask, guys. It does come in like desert and some digital camo, I think. I don't know. I'll post the pictures of the different options right there where my fingers are. So anyway, I bought this one on Amazon. And if you're interested, you can pick it up too. So this has been a 5 minute and 45 second review of the One Tigra 6 inch foldable mask. Thank you very much for tuning in. Nerf well, my friends.